Hey, it is GTSS back with another video. And in this video, I wanted to do a bit of a different video, but one that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that is go over what I think is the best ROM for a OnePlus One. Uh, so here's my OnePlus One right here. Um, and I've got Sultan 6.0.1 ROM on here. And uh, I've been using it for quite a few months. And it is really, really awesome. Uh, in terms of everything you want from a ROM. So let's go over it. Uh, in terms of features, it's really all here. It's based off of Cyanogen mod. So you've got your quickly swiping down from the right to get into the, notif the settings, uh, the quick settings. You've really got everything you want from a ROM. It's super quick. Uh, animations are all quick. You can change up the buttons. Uh, you can, you've got Google Now on tap, of course, uh, because it does run on Marshmallow. Um, you can hold down the settings icon and get into System Tuner. Um, it is based off of Cyanogen mod, so it's got everything Android has and even more customization. Uh, for example, in the buttons, just like you have on, and it's built for the OnePlus One. So right now I'm using capacitive buttons. If I wanted to, I could switch to on-screen buttons and get on-screen buttons. Uh, of course, I like capacitive, and if you're in capacitive, you can, of course, change what the buttons do. Uh, you can make the menu button do recent app switcher like I have it, uh, or you can do the built-in menu, which no one actually uses. So lots of customization. Um, you've got the Cyanogen Mod theme engine, of course. You can browse as many themes as you want. You can change anything on this phone. And one feature I really like of Cyanogen Mod that's included is live display. Um, now what this does is based off of your location and the sunset time in your location, it actually changes the screen sort of like exactly like Night Shift on iOS, but this is of course first. Uh, so I have it on automatic, but for example, if I change it to night, it becomes yellow. Uh, it removes that blue light. So I'm gonna keep it on automatic. And if you go into bright sunlight, it actually changes, increases contrast so you can see it. Uh, you've got all these, you've got the double tape, double tape, du du double tap, <laughs> double tap gestures. You've got off screen gestures. I don't really use these at all, but they work as you'd expect. And for me, at least, the most important part of a custom ROM for any phone is battery life. And Sultan's ROM does not disappoint in this department. It is amazing. It is the best battery life I've gotten on any ROM. And I've tried a gajillion ROMs on my OnePlus One. I had Cyanogen OS, Cyanogen Mod, Nightly's, Cyanogen Mod Stable, I've Darko Boss. I've tried all the ROMs. Sultan's ROM is the best compromise between screen on time in standby time. Darko Boss, you might have heard of that ROM, which is also based on Marshmallow, but it's AOSP. That gives you better screen on time, but the standby time is iffy. Sultan's ROM, I find it to be the best comp the best compromise between stability, which is also very important, and battery life. Stability in this ROM is awesome. The only app that has force closes for me is Twitter. Not sure why. No other app has issues in my experience. So stability is pretty much perfect. You get updates maybe once a month or so. And one thing you need to know is that he underclocks your processor from 2.4 gigahertz on the 801 to 2 gigahertz. I have not noticed a performance difference over the months and months I've used it with other ROMs. If you don't like that, you can remove the underclock, and I haven't seen it take a huge hit to battery, uh, but battery life is slightly better with the underclock, which is why he does it in the first place, and heat is definitely lower. So, usually I get about 5 hours of screen on time, and I am a pretty heavy user. I have Bluetooth on, I uh, use it most of the day, I wake up at 9-ish and go to bed at 12-ish, and it is it lasts me through the day, uh, and it charges very quickly, of course, one plus one, but screen, uh, battery life, really good. Uh, whether you're on Wi-Fi or data, uh, it's, it's incredibly good. And, of course, stability is super good as well. And it works fast. And you've got all the features. Uh, if you get the correct version of Google Apps, you've got all your features, too. Uh, and I've got Super User on here, uh, just so it's rooted. Um, but, you know, overall, I highly recommend checking out Sultan's ROM if you've got a OnePlus One. Uh, his Lollipop ROM gets better battery life, but it's Lollipop. His Marshmallow ROM, which is what, I, which is what I'm on, Gets slightly worse battery life, but Doze 
is amazing. The features are amazing. I highly recommend downloading and installing it yourself. Make sure you've, you're on uh, TWRP 2.6 or higher. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Sultan's ROM if you've got a OnePlus One. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more Android videos. And thank you for watching.